Hey guys, the intention of this video is to show you how to um, take an image off the internet and place it onto a cut file for your um, RD works. So, uh, when we're using the laser. So, to get started, what I want to do is I'm going to go into Teams and here I put a link to a really cool site that Mr. Arico got me onto, which is Brands of the World. If I click on that, I'll get taken to this website here and if I type in a brand, okay, so Yamaha, it's going to come up with a heap of different vectorized decals. Now, when we say vectorized, there's two different images that we can use and the best image to use when we're using the laser is one that is a a vector. What that means is that it has transformed this image into a series of lines and it um, works quite well. A JPEG or a bitmap is usually based off dots or pixels to get the image. This one has been vectorized so that means that it is lines and the laser has a much easier time following those lines. All I would do is click agree and download and um, download that into somewhere safe where I know where it's going to be and I'm going to open it up in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to check my battery here guys, I've got 28 minutes, should be plenty of time. So if I go file and place and then with my downloads, I recommend that you do it in um, your year 9 graphics or year 9 ITD, whatever you're working in place it in there so it's all in the same place but anyway I'm going to open this one up it's an EPS file I'm going to place it in there and before I save it I'm just going to click on the image and I'm going to click on this embed button I've been having a bit, bit more luck with this by going embed from here all I'm going to do is file um, save as and make sure it's an Adobe Illustrator file and give it an appropriate name and location and then click Save. From here I can go back into RD Works. I'll just delete this and do it again and I can go Import. What I want to import this time is not the EPS, I want to import the AI file because it's been transformed from the EPS to the AI. I've now put that in there. Automatically it comes up with a border. I'm just going to get rid of that. So the little de delete function there, or you can lose, use delete on your keyboard or function delete if you're running a Mac. And um, that should work quite well. What I want to explain at the moment is that everything on my working space is black, which means it's going to cut it. I want to scan this and so to do that I'm going to highlight it and I'll make it blue. You'll notice that the scan layer has just come into my um, my work folder here and if it wasn't set to scan I can double click on this and change it from cut to scan. And I'll click OK. So with that I'm pretty happy. It's looking pretty good. It's a little bit small so I might lasso it and drag it out, make it a bit bigger and centralize it. Before I would cut this I always need to go to a preview and then that gives me quite a good idea of how it's going to look once it's finished. Also tells me how long it's going to take. Um, so it's going to take three minutes to do this whole job which is pretty quick I reckon and there's a few more details there that we'll go into later on. So that's a really good method if you're using a generic brand that's already been vectorized, quite easy to get off the internet. Um, I did a little job the other day and you'll probably come into this problem when you um, want something a little bit outside the square. So if I wanted a border collie decal, I'm using the word decal because um, it's always a good word to put in with your search to try and get a vectorized image. 
that's the I think that's an industry term we they use for stickers and uh, logo imprints and things like that. If I click search, I get this one image of a weird looking border collie that's wearing a scarf, I think. Not what I'm chasing. So to get something a little more special, I'm gonna to go to Google and I've gone to images and I've typed in the exact same search. I now get a heap of different images. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to right click, save the picture as in downloads, border collie peaking. And now if I go into RD works, I can hopefully place this image. Comes in pretty good. And I want to change it because at the moment it's coming up as a bitmap and that's what it is. I want to vectorize it. So while it's selected, if I go to my bitmap handle, I can say to it, get outline and it gets an outline of this image. The cleaner the image is that you bring into RD Works, the better it's going to be, uh, the better the computer or the program as such will get the outline. So if it's a rough image, sometimes the computer is going to struggle to get an outline. And I've made a video um, on how to get around that, but this is just to get clean images off the web and turn them into vectors. So I've clicked on get outline, I'm going to click OK now. And what's happened is there's an outline underneath that bitmap. So if I left click, I can drag the, um, the bitmap off the top and I can delete it. Now, hopefully it's going to identify the different regions and leave some white, fill them in. So that's just like the last, like the bitmap that I got off, um, off Google but it has been vectorized. Let's go to preview and take a look. So it's done exactly what I wanted. It has vectorized it and it's got the regions correct. And I can then do the same thing, place that on my backboard and everything else. Some images just won't play the game. So you go to live trace and it just doesn't work. For that, go to teams. I've created another video here, which is how to vector a JPEG that won't play the game. Um, and it goes through the finer details. So it's an image I'm working on here and the computer really struggled with the fishing rods and creating regions for it. So I won't talk about it too much. Go to that video if what I've shown you on this current video doesn't help you.